Hi everybody, my name is Lucas, I'm with the Carlo Precision and uh, this uh, short video will show you how I go from uh, scene, in my case I actually am running uh, the current version which is version 6.0.2.23, uh, how I go from uh, this version into recap without losing detail. Um, what I mean by that is uh, I, I've learned over the years uh, when you're uh, going from uh, scene into uh, third-party software occasionally there's a chance that you actually lose some detail in the actual scan. Um, I have a project that is finished over here. Uh, it has been uh, registered to ground coordinates so if you notice I have my easting, my northing and my elevations all in uh, uh, ground coordinates uh, you'll notice that this corner over here does have missing data, of course, because I didn't really focus on the grass areas, but I did capture the road coming from over there, making a turn over here in the intersection, and kind of continuing down the road over here. Again, uh, for uh, speed, I am keeping this uh, video short and also only showing part of the project. But uh, if you uh, want to do a little bit less work, uh, you might run into a problem uh, which is inherent, I think, to the latest scene, uh, 6.0 or even the versions before that, where if you want to finish and you're done with the project and you go into file, you hit scan project and you are used to going to uh, export a project into the RCP file format, which would, you know, create your recap file, uh, you might actually find out that if you have a huge project like I do where I have 40 or 50 scans of uh, high density when you export it you might actually lose detail. What I mean by that is uh, let me show you I actually have prepared a sample set so here's a sample of the same coordinate or the same scan data that you saw in scene uh, that we're looking at over here. So if you look at the data, it is the same, but it is remarkably missing um, this data on the very edge of um, the reach of the actual scanner. So there's very little or very sparse data that we're looking at over here, where the two scans, which there was one scan over here and another scan right over here, uh, you know, you would expect that they overlap. If you look at scene, scene uh, looks like it does a better job with overlapping the data and there is more of it and this was something that always bugged me and bothered me and uh, thought I'd uh, give you a how to uh, fix this. So again if you proceed at this moment to go scan project, export project and go into the RCP uh, file format and create your own folder and export it. I'm not going to get into that detail, but uh, give it a name. You might, or actually might, you will end up with something like this. Where, if you do it my way, I will show you, this is the proper way of doing it. If you notice, this is exactly the same data, also in recap, uh, except I'm not missing as much data as I was before and the reason behind that is if you go and actually create manually and we'll call this Traverse uh, Demo we'll just call that, it doesn't really matter what the name is if you import your scans manually which I have a tendency to do so let me go into my project uh, here it is revisions and I had scan 1 16 and 17 if you open this if you let recap or scene do it and you hit index it'll end up with a missing data but if you want to capture everything that you want to have or had in scene also in recap, you have to go into this little uh, configure or scan setting window where you will have to mess with the default filters. The default filters are set to a standard filter which will uh, run through the data that is being imported into recap and will eliminate some edge data. Also it will 
perform a distance filter, which in the case of uh, me using uh, X330 ferro scanner would have cut it off at 120 meters, which is the default value that the filter is set to. I really kind of don't want to be, you know, limited to the range to where the actual scan uh, collects data, so I bump this up. Now, if you don't move these settings, you will end up with the data set that we saw before. If you move these settings and now hit the index button, and I will not because I already have this index, you will end up with the denser data. So, uh, let's suspend this because we do not need this. All right, I just skipped back out into my two projects that I had. If you do not filter the data, uh, or do not adjust the filters in the data, you will end up with data sets that will look like this, and you'll be a little upset with a data set after you've indexed 40, 50, 60, 100 or more scans. Uh, so do yourself a favor, do not uh, use the default uh, export. I know it is convenient because it allows you to create it over here, but you have less control over what you're actually exporting. And um, do it the way that I showed you. Go into home, create a whole new project, adjust those filter settings, and then after um, you adjust those settings, you will end up with data that actually looks uh, better and uh, imports into whatever you're actually trying to get this data into afterwards properly. Needless to say, of course, it still does inherit the ground coordinate system. I don't know if you can actually see my mouse moving around and it does have uh, values for the X, Y, and Z. Even though they are in meters, uh, they are inheriting the same coordinate system that we're seeing over here, which is in feet, but that's just a conversion and that's how Recap visualizes. So. Uh, just for reference, we are. I am using a scene 6.0.2.23, which is current as of uh, July 18th, uh, 2016, and I am also using a recap uh, version, let's see, 3.0.2.12, and I think that's current also for the same date, so uh, on the latest versions of everything. All right, I hope this video gave you a little bit of an idea of how you might be able to uh, circumvent the issue of uh, not having enough data after you thought you did in scene uh, when you bring it into recap. Let me know in the comments if you have any concerns on any other questions. Take care.